Well, with more rain, heat, and humidity in our forecast, you might want to grab an extra bottle of bug spray. Yeah, that's true. I have some bites here. <laughs> Above average rain in June plus the heat in July has created a perfect storm for mosquitoes to breed. West Nile virus, as you know, is always a concern, but as of June 6th, there were no reported cases in Wisconsin. That's good news so far. UW Health's Dr. Jeff Potoff is here for his weekly visit. Hi, Dr. Potoff. Hey guys, how are you? You know, that's why they call it the state bird. <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> no back. doubt. Um, and it can be more than just a bite. They can, it can be serious. What kind of viruses do mosquitoes transmit? Yeah, the one we have to be most concerned about in Wisconsin would be West Nile virus. There's a couple other encephalopathies that they can carry, but they're pretty rare. Most people aren't going to run into that. Uh, West Nile virus, uh, first discovered in the 1930s in Uganda, and then eventually kind of spread. We didn't hear a lot about it till the 90s. 2012 was a really bad year here, and then ever mm -hmm. since then, we usually have a few cases uh, every summer. Uh, and the conditions this year, like you mentioned, are, are really ripe for it. Uh, you typically need a lot of moisture because then the mosquitoes can breed. We have that. Uh, and now we have forecasts with temperatures going up, which also increases kind of that viral load. Uh, so um, as much as no one likes to get bit by mosquitoes, even more reason to sometimes wear those long sleeves at night uh, or for sure where you're decontaining uh, insect repellent to, to avoid getting West Nile. They've been pretty bad. They've been sneaky. Like I can't even feel them and all of a sudden I'm covered in bites. Uh, have you had yeah. any bad luck? I, I, I have the same bad luck and I mean <laughs> I, and I try to like you know keep them out of my yard and things like that but I think this year it's just a lost yeah, cause. There's yeah. so much moisture out there. What are the symptoms of West Nile virus? Yeah so it's interesting. So uh, eight out of ten people will never know that they had West Nile. They will be completely asymptomatic. Uh, of the 20% that have symptoms, uh, most of them won't identify it as West Nile because you'll have headache, maybe a fever, some muscle aches, uh, things that are pretty common for other viral infections. Um, where we get in trouble with West Nile is typically those that are uh, of extreme of age uh, and those who have a compromised immune systems, they will get West Nile that gets into their central nervous system and it'll cause inflammation of the brain uh, and that can lead to all kinds of bad things, comas, uh, you know, arms and legs that don't wanna work. Uh, and even though uh, it's only fatal in 10% of cases, uh, it usually has um, lasting effects. So you don't like fully recover if you have that. So that's where we have to be careful you don't want to be that unlucky person uh, who gets neuroinvasive West now. Are there any other diseases or conditions that we have to worry about right now? Oh my gosh. I think ticks are probably like the bigger risk than uh, than even the mosquitoes. And oh, okay. we all know about Lyme disease, but then there's ericolosis and anaplasmosis. We don't want to scare everyone. <laughs> Happy but summer. There are plenty of things that insects can give us. Uh, best to, uh, you know, wear your bug uh, repellent. Uh, for ticks, uh, permethrin, if you put it on your clothes, that can last for a long time, be a good repellent. And then just be mindful of it. I mean, it's summertime, they're out there. Um, Mosquitoes, we know they're going to be out there at night. Ticks, if we're in the bushes, make sure we're checking ourselves afterwards. Um, you know, pound of uh, prevention is mm -hmm. uh, ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Yes. That's what right. my mom used to tell me, right? But are there any treatments for any of these things? Uh, for West Nile, it's purely supportive. For a lot of these tick-borne diseases, there are treatments. Oftentimes, an antibiotic that can can help you get you back on your feet. Okay. Yeah. Mm. What's the COVID situation? Mm. The COVID hospital? situation is kind of what it's been the last several years. We start to see the slow increase in July. Um, nothing like too crazy, uh, and then we will anticipate a bigger surge come this fall, uh, which is just a good time to remind people there will be an updated vaccine that's out there. Uh, when you're planning to get your flu shot, get the COVID shot, cross it off your list, and don't be one of those people who has regrets that they got more sick than they needed to. Very good advice. You bet. Good to see you again. Good to Thank see you, you. Dr. Potter. See you next week.